that's Dunbeck. A tall ball lava. A Tobolev. From Uzbekistan. He was seventh in the World Championships in 2016. Second on two occasions, including Rabat this year in the Karate One Premier League. No continental wins yet. 25 years old, but look who he is up against. The incredible five time world champion, Rafael Agiev of Azerbaijan. He didn't get into the gold medal bout, so that will disappoint him, obviously but he will be determined to take this bronze medal. 33 years old, nine Karate One Premier League wins in total. Six is a first. He took a silver in, in Paris and a third in Rotterdam. Okay, he lost against Buza. And, uh, and Buza is he's back on form, isn't he? Yeah. Buza will be going for gold for Italy. But Rafael Agiev is second in the world ranking. He is 14th in the Olympic standing. Whilst Atabolev is 14th in the world ranking and 71st in the Olympic standing. So... Off we go. The last of the Kibite bouts in the 2014 year Karate World Championships here in Madrid, Spain. This is the second bronze medal bout for the minus 75 kilogram. Rafael Agiev wearing the blue colors for Azerbaijan. Dastumbek Ataboliev of Uzbekistan is in the red colors. Okay, if he, he tried to push, yes, because he's also much smaller, so we have to go very close, and at the same time, it's danger. But he's a, he's an immensely strong player. Yeah. Has all of the skills. He can kick, punch, throw. There's a punch. Mm. Great timing there from Agayev. Yeah, he pulled out. Otoboliev uh, came in. Yeah. And he, he drew out that attack from Otoboliev to fire in that Joran Zuki to take the Yuko score and the Sensu advantage. Comfortably sitting in the center of the tatami. And then gets forced back with that onslaught from Atoboliev. So he now has a category two Chikoku warning. And the coach for Uzbekistan has called for a video review. There's a Chuda Mawashi. Now... It looks like Agiev he's blocked. was moving rapidly backwards, and he yeah, keeps pulling he his was, arms in. He was blocked, and it was caught. He's caught the forearm, so Agiev managed to do the block. So no score given. It was very close, I have to say, but there's no opportunity for the coach to call for a video review any longer. Agiev still leads one point to zero in the last minute, and there he's off the tatami once more. That'll. Give him another Keikoku, another level two warning, another yellow card. And he still has a minute, which is quite a long time to hang on to that. He has a slender win, a lead at the moment with that one point Yuko score and the Senchu. Comes over the top of the John Anzuki.
Yeah, well, Topoliev. Uh, need to take a bit more risk now. Well, we have a category two yellow for Aradiev, who's now on his third warning. Hansel Kachui can't have any more. If he does, he'll fall for the back with a disqualification. But on this occasion, it's Otoboliev who has been warned for holding on. Still 32 seconds to go. That's the one. Good, good, good over the top punch. The only difference now will be that sent you held yeah. by Agiev. If Otoboliev can score another point, he'll obviously win two points to one. But he has to score again, otherwise the sent you held by Agiev will be sufficient for him to take home the bronze medal. Agiev loses his pad. He's such a canny fighter, isn't he? He's such a clever. He lives the life on the edge of the rules. It is. <laughs> and he's so good at it. Otoboliev will try and either score a point or force another error in category two, but Agiev stands his ground yeah. and delivers that. Jordan Zuki. So he has a comfort factor of another Yuko now. Two points to one. Five seconds to go. Agiev determined not to move backwards. With one second on the clock. That's it. Time is up. And the bronze medal in the World Championships here in Madrid, Spain goes to... Rafael Agiev of Azerbaijan. Here yeah, it is. Experience win. Oh! This time. Yes.